What's up everyone? I am gonna do a little thing on measuring different paints here on some different cars. Uh, for some reason, paint measurement videos have been killing it on TikTok for me. Uh, and it's really important to measure paint if you're doing paint correction. So this is my alchometer paint gauge and this is a Datsun 5 that was a Datsun 510 with a repaint. Uh, this alchometer gauge is around $750 and it reads the primer, paint, and clear coat. I have it set on microns. So this is a Lamborghini Gallardo from 2009 or 10, I think. So we've got some pretty decent readings on the factory paint on this car here. Uh, Lambos typically have pretty good, tough paint. Here is a Fiat Dino from 1967. This was repainted and as you can see, the measurements are all over the place. Gotta be careful on these older cars. This is a single stage paint job here uh, and we were about to do some a crazy correction to it to get it looking uh, nearly new again so we wanted to see what we had to work with so we don't risk burning through or damaging the aftermarket paint um, so it's always super important to measure before you do anything here is a uh, Ferrari um, 308 Quattro Valvole. This is original paint. Uh, these Ferraris in the 80s were painted by hand at the factory. The owner of this car showed me uh, some pictures of them painting. Uh, they had no masks, uh, didn't look like very advanced equipment. It just looked like a fun day for the Italians. So here's some readings on this car. Uh, if you measure the door jam, you kind of get an idea for like the whole base of the car. So this car actually had a lot of paint on it. Here's a brand new uh, Genesis GV80, uh, Genesis and Hyundai. So has a pretty decent amount of paint on it for factory. I typically think a good factory paint job is between like 130 to like 200 microns of paint. Uh, door jam reading, pretty good. Damn, that's pretty high for factory. Usually it's around like 90 to 100. Here is a Ferrari F355 Berlinetta with a horrible repaint on it. Orange peel everywhere, kind of matte look, readings all over the place. Uh, if it reads greater than 500, it means it has so much paint on it, it can't be read. If it doesn't read at all, usually it means there's Bondo, uh, carbon fiber, or plastic panel. Uh, so yeah, this paint's all over the place. And here is a new Tesla Model Y. So let's go check it out. 80 microns, 90 microns, wow, this is 50, holy crap, this is bad. I would uh, rate this, uh, oh, what? oh, we're back up to like 150. What's going on, Tesla? Got the uh, 2021 Audi RS7. It's got some pretty decent readings, although I would expect more from a German car, and the trunk uh, only read about 100 microns in most spaces but still not bad for a factory and Audi paint tends to be on the tougher side to cut into. Here is a Tesla Model S. Uh, these ones, particularly older ones, were known for having better paint jobs. Uh, the reason these readings are not the same is not because it's been repainted, it's just typical. Uh, there's very few cars that have a 100% consistent paint job. I've never found one. And then here we've got a Porsche 911. Uh, an old old classic air-cooled the front end I believe is factory and then the rear end had caught on fire and been repainted But it still has incredibly high readings, which is great because it means I have tons of paint to work with Thanks for watching. I'll put out another one with a couple more cars soon uh, Catch you next time